All of those are for my heart. These are the medicines Angelina Scott can't live without. This is a blood thinner. For high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and an irregular heartbeat. Don't take these, my heart will stop. But with sky high inflation and hundreds of dollars in monthly medical costs, this notary and her husband, a maintenance worker, are falling behind on their bills, staving off shutoff notices. So to cut costs, she's stopped taking medicine for her irritable bowel syndrome. People, well, you can't afford not to. No, literally, I cannot afford to. It makes me really sick. Why do I have to choose between living and living? <laughs> In June, U.S. health care costs were up 4.5 percent from the year before. And with the price of food, gas, rent and utilities surging even higher, millions of Americans are struggling to afford the care they need. What this leads people to do is have to make horrible trade-offs between paying for their medication or their diagnostic test or seeing their physician or their doctor and having to pay for basic costs of living, their gas, their food, their groceries, their child care. A new survey from Gallup and West Health found roughly two in five adults, an estimated 98 million Americans, have delayed or skipped treatment, cut back on driving utilities and food, or borrowed money just to pay medical bills in the last six months. And 39 percent have major concerns about affording care in the coming months. Inflation and, and its impact on health care are, you know, are, are breaking families and breaking individuals, and we need, to, we need to wake up and act. Everything's went up. Everything but my paycheck. 71-year-old Libby Dancy is a caseworker for an organization that helps struggling seniors in Virginia, but she herself can't afford to retire. I'll be working here probably until they find me laid out back there in my office. A three-time cancer survivor, she spends hundreds each month on critical medicine like heart pills, breathing treatments, and insulin. So she's tightening her budget, keeping her AC off in the summer heat, and foregoing her allergy meds, probiotics, and vitamins until payday. What did that do to you physically? Mess me up. Mess my system up and everything, you know. High inflation is squeezing most Americans, sending U.S. household debt to a record high more than $16 trillion. I feel like it's suffocating me slowly. For some, the budget balancing act grows more difficult by the day. All those things are horrible, but how do I tough out trying to live?